Hey guys, hope everybody's having an awesome day. Um, woke up this morning, and again, I was blessed with um, being part of the Genesis Snapshot, and I found some new tokens in my account, and man, mind blown. I'm going to get into it. What I'm referring to, and what I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about, or at least seen the token show up in your account, is Edna, otherwise known as eDNA. And eDNA is a project of epic proportions. And it's it's of epic proportions, and I think that it's of epic proportions because it's closely related to something that I do um, kind of as my main gig, which is a little bit more fitness health oriented. Um, and it's it's really opened my eyes. Just going to check this program, going to check out the project for, you know, I spent probably a couple hours going over top of all the information has, uh, it's opened my eyes and some of which is in a really good way and some of which is almost scary. I think this is probably one of the most socio-economic impactful dApps that I could ever even have conceptualized. Like I, to wrap my head around it is insanity. And, um, I'm going to get into it a little bit. I'm going to try to keep it relatively simple um, and relatively short, but I think that if you have the time, you need to go check this out. Because one thing that's becoming really, really popular, particularly in fitness and health and wellness, is a genetic DNA testing, right? Everybody's heard of that kit. You get the kit, right? You do a little swab under your tongue and you send it off and they send it back to you and you get some information like, you know, this is, you know, your original ethnicity and you are predisposed to this, or maybe you have a genetic marker that makes you a better athlete or whatever else. And when you first go to do these tests, they sound like a great idea. I think the cost of it, uh, according to the website in 2006, it cost $14 billion to sequence a single human being. So the, the genome of a single human being. Um, right now it's about $1,000 and it's falling quickly. And that's interesting. I think that that's great. The fact that we can sequence human DNA for $1,000 or less. But that's where the whole project, that's where the whole sequencing of DNA starts to get a little bit scary. Because the truth of the matter is, is that there's a bit of a, there's a bit of a, a grab going on. And um, people are, are looking to get your DNA. And the interesting thing is, is that they are, they're paying us to do, we're paying them to do it. We are paying up to $1,000 for a test to send off to get a couple of little genetic markers back, learn a couple of things about maybe where we're from, or maybe some of the some of the sequences that we have in our DNA that might make us a, a better athlete or maybe susceptible to one disease or, or this or that. But what we aren't considering and what we aren't knowing is that they have access to this DNA and they're taking this DNA and they're profiting from it. Um, they're profiting it. They're profiting from it. They're giving us a small, small amount of feedback, like very, very basic, low-level feedback that we're paying for. And then they're taking this DNA and they're selling it, and they're making money off of it. And who they sell it to, where they sell it, the purposes that they sell it for, are freaking scary. Uh, I won't get into it too much, but um, I really suggest you go and watch watch the video on the website. It's done by a gentleman named Greg, who's been. Uh, doing DNA sequencing for a long time. And um, the fact is that you're paying for these massive tests. These guys are taking your DNA and they're finding everything from cures to diseases to, um, you know, to predisposed genetic markers that make us more prone to certain things. And they're sharing your information, man. They're taking your genome and they're making money off of it. And they choose who it's sold to. They choose where it goes and they take all the funds. And that's where eDNA comes in. So eDNA is a, is a new token that's, um, that's launching on, it's already launched rather, but they're in the process of, of kind of finalizing everything and getting it ready. And essentially what they do is they put your own DNA source code back in your hands. Like EOS is doing some crazy things. I know I always say it, but this is insane. <laughs> like this is crazy. This is something that I'm really, really fired up about and I'm really passionate about. And I think I'm really passionate about it because I understand the social repercussions of what's going on and what's happening with our DNA. Um, so what, what they do is they take your DNA, you send them a kit um, and you send it off to them and they take it and they, they, they break it down 
and they store it on the blockchain. But they don't just store it on the blockchain so everybody has access to it. They have some really interesting software that takes it, pulls it apart, and ensures that only you have access to it. And the, the way that they do this is a little bit complex, but once again, there's a really, really good explainer video on the website. So eDNA um, essentially is going to be a community of people who have decided to source their, their genetic code through a simple test that you send back to them onto the blockchain that only you have access to. And the beautiful thing about that is that the only person who's going to be able to profit and the person who's really in control of who's getting access to this information is going to be you. Because when you go and you do some of these little genetic tests, man, when you do some of these tests, this information can be going to some bad people. Uh, one of the resources that the website actually lists is if somebody wants to do genetic testing on, on biological weapons, you know, they can go to one of these people and they can they can buy your DNA code off of that. And and the other interesting part about DNA is that it's constantly changing, it's constantly evolving. It's not just like your DNA is your DNA and that's it, right? Our DNA is fluid. It changes daily, weekly, hourly, by the minute. It's constantly evolving. And it's evolving from for a lot of different reasons. You know, um, the website states that degradation from the sun is one of the main reasons why why our DNA is constantly changing. It's everything from the food that we eat to pharmaceuticals that we take to whatever else might be is constantly altering our DNA. And that's just how we're built and it's constantly changing. So what they're doing is they're allowing you at this point right now to take your DNA, put it on the blockchain. And what are the benefits of that? Um, ultimately, the benefits are if something changes, you know, because our DNA is always fluid and because it's always changing, if something changes on a minute by minute basis, um, and let's just say you you know you come up with a you, you come up with a, a, a disease or something happens. Um, there's a new technology out which is called CRISPR. Once again, go check out the website, um, which is evolving and it's quickly allowing scientists to be able to turn on and turn off certain sequences of your DNA. Now, how is being in control of your DNA and sequencing your DNA beneficial? Well, as this technology evolves and as it becomes more prevalent in society, you're actually going to be able to alter certain genes that make certain things happen, which completely opens up the possibility of curing diseases that are otherwise maybe known as terminal or just changing things within your genetic code. Like this stuff is coming. This is the future. It's happening right now. So eDNA allows you to get a, a basal, you know, a basal readout of what your DNA is right now. And then as this technology evolves, you can always go back. If something bad happens, you can make an analysis, of course, not yourself, but through somebody who knows what they're doing. And you'll be able to actually identify the specific sequence that changed and possibly, according to the new technology CRISPR, be able to turn off or on whatever DNA sequence that's causing you problems. So it's got some, it's heavy. It's got some really, really, really big social repercussions, um, but also some really incredible social change. And not only that, but but they take this DNA, they encode it, they encrypt it. The only person who has access to it is you. And uh, the plan moving forward is going to be that um, as a community, they're building a community where you can actually decide what your DNA is going to be used for or if you want it used for anything at all. Um, another really interesting ac aspect that they're doing is they're also doing it with pets um, and animals as well. So if you have a beloved dog or whatever it might be, um, you're going to be able to sequence its DNA. And like I'm not a, you know, I, I'm not a DNA expert, but um, there's some crazy things happening in society and I'm not here to debate whether they're right or whether they're wrong. I'm just saying that to be in control of your current DNA code as it is right now, in the near future is going to allow you to determine um, you know, what, what particular genomes you're going to be able to turn on and off. That's huge. <laughs> That's freaking huge. And not only that, but these companies are making an air grab. They're making an air grab. Sorry, guys. They're making a grab for your DNA right now, and they're the ones who are in control. And they can sell it to whoever they want to sell it to. They can profit off of uh, any research that comes from it that you know cures disease um, or or you know they can sell it to all the wrong people. And by doing this, you're putting it, you're taking the test, you're putting it on the, you're putting it up on the blockchain, and you're in control. You can opt out of any test that you want to do. You can decide whether or not you want to participate in certain tests. And I believe the path moving forward is that ultimately, if your DNA is used um, as part of a test that that has some major findings, um, or has profit, or whatever it might be, um, you're going to be entitled to a piece of the pie. So. 
I don't even know where to begin with this thing. Like this, it's insane. It's absolutely massive. And I just think that it's really, really, really interesting. And I'll tell you right now, it's also changed the way, because I've, I've recommended that some of my clients go out and get these, these DNA tests done. And I think that in the future, um, I'm probably gonna be a little bit more cautious knowing about this. Anyway, um, if you have the time, and I hope you have the time, because this is big, go over and check out the website. I'm gonna throw it below in the comments. And, um, and eDNA, airdrop and tokens. Um, I'm not sure when it's gonna be listed on exchanges, but even more so than the monetary value of this project is, is the impact and the awareness that it's creating and and the awareness that it's creating for change and the manipulation that's actually happening behind the scenes that we're paying for right now. EOS is doing some crazy stuff and eDNA. <laughs> I don't mind blown. That's all I gotta say. You gotta go check out this project. It's uh it's very, very cool. So um yeah, go and check them out, go and watch the video, go scare yourself a little bit and uh, take control of your own DNA because in the future, it might be the difference. It might be the difference in between, um, between making or breaking or, or curing the next, you know, the next major disease. It's some crazy stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really implore you to go check out the project and I'd love to know what you guys think. I'd love to know your opinions, so please leave them in the comments below. Click the subscribe button and uh, take the time to go find out what's going on with the world because some of it is scary and some of it is very, very beautiful. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. We'll see you soon. I got so much I want to do. So many exciting things happening on the blockchain, um, on the EOS blockchain right now, and some really crazy, cool, innovative projects coming out. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys all have an amazing day, and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao for now. Bye.